Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Solano Scott Selections here for Tuesday, October 5th. For today's play of the day, quick recap. We picked up a loss in Monday Night Football with Justin Herbert. Longest completion over 37 and a half yards at minus 114 on FanDuel. Unfortunately, Herbert's longest completion ended up being a 34. We needed one broken tackle. The guy didn't get it, and he was four yards short. A couple of other chances during the game. He had Mike Williams wide open down the sideline in the first half. Would have been good for arguably 70 yards, but he overthrew him couple of other options. He had Keenan Allen across the middle on a crossing pattern. He missed him barely. Uh, you also had the flea flicker, which there was a miscommunication with Allen, and that ended up being not even close. But Keenan Allen really had an off night, and a couple of big plays that had some potential ended up not working out, and Mike Williams was a non-factor as well. So Herbert lost by four yards, which is pretty upsetting. But, yeah, a bit of a losing streak. Acknowledge it is what it is. Happens in betting. I look to bounce back here on Tuesday. Now, for the play of the day, looking at the baseball game between the Yankees and the Red Sox for the AL wild card, we're going to be taking a prop. And the prop's going to be on Yankees batter Joey Gallo, and we're going to take under half a hit at minus 110 on DraftKings, time of recording of 2.13 a.m. Eastern time. In other words, I have Joey Gallo not to record a single hit. Cupboard's why I like Gallo to struggle in this spot mostly involving his terrible batting averages as a whole and against the Red Sox this season. He's been with the Yankees for 58 games, or he's played with the Yankees for 58 games after he was acquired at the trade deadline. In those 58 games, he's recorded just 30 hits in 188 at-bats, which is a 160 batting average, which surprisingly is actually the highest batting average I'm going to mention in the rest of this video. Gallo has faced Nathan Yavaldi, who's the starting pitcher for the Red Sox for this game, Seven times in his career, Gallo is one for seven. That's a batting average of 143. Then against the Red Sox this season, it gets hideous. In 34 bats against Boston this season, Gallo has a whopping of four hits, which is a batting average of 118. And in Fenway Park, Gallo is an impressive one for 11 this season, which is a batting average of 91. That's it. So Gallo has struggled making contact with the ball since he joined the Yankees pretty much his entire career. He's a home run or bust player. He'll walk a lot. He'll hit some home runs, but he rarely actually hits for contact. Plus, he gets shifted on. Everyone moves all the defenders over to the right side. There is a chance the way that we could lose this is if Gallo bunts for a hit on the left side, which has happened occasionally. But I'm going to live with that if that happens. It is what it is. But the point is Gallo struggled against this particular pitcher. He struggled against Boston this season. He's awful in Fenway Park. And with the Yankees, as a whole, he's been brutal. Now, Gallo, if he's going to swing for the fences every time he's up because he's the modern-day version of Adam Dunn, I can live with that. You've always been pretty good at limiting home runs so far this season. And I do think that Gallo is going to be so focused on trying to go yard or even trying to work a walk, which he does really well, that I don't exactly have faith in him to get on base via a hit. And I think with those percentages, I mentioned the 160, the 143, the 118, and the .091 batting average. To go through the percentages on there, that means that ceiling-wise, he, he fails to get a hit in about 84%, if not higher, in his at-bats. It's minus 110 for no hit. I got to take that. Gallo might get on base via walk. Maybe even a little home run and we'll lose the bet. But based on the percentages alone, Gallo to not get a hit should be a lot higher than minus 110. You could really make an argument for minus 130, minus 150, really anything you want because of his terrible numbers against Yavaldi and the Red Sox in general. But at minus 110, there's a ton of value on it, and I got to take it. It's play day once again here for Tuesday. October 5th is going to be on Joey Gallo under half a hit at minus 110 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.